I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a phishing campaign with realistic looking emails and fake login website to capture user credentials. Now keep in mind that phishing is illegal and you will get in trouble for doing it without permission. But without further ado, let's get started. First we want to create a VPS, you can do that completely for free. Go to cloudlynode.com, link in the description, create a new account and you will be greeted with this dashboard. So hit create to node, choose OS, let's go with Ubuntu, region, let it be Germany, Frankfurt, share CPU for $5, this one is completely enough, Ub name, you can call it whatever, let's go with Ubuntu. No tags required, strong password. Okay, make it complex. Check private IP. And I think we are good to go. Yes, so hit create the node on the bottom. And now we have to wait a minute for it to build. So see you in a second. As you can see, it's running now. So you can copy SSH access command, open up PowerShell clear, say type yes, now you have to type your password and we are connected to our VPS. Now, first things first, uh, we need to upgrade, update and upgrade apt package, mm, so sudo apt, apt get, apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade like this. This will take a while so I will speed it up and with some editing magic it's done in a second. Uh, so next thing let's install one more one more tool apt get install unzip we will need it later and it's done. Okay, so now open up your favorite search engine, type GoFish framework, second link should be a GitHub, uh, it's in the description anyway, find release for your system and copy link for GoFish for Linux, copy link. Okay, so now let's make a new directory, name it GoFish, clear cd GoFish, and uh, wget to download the file, paste the link, enter, as you can see it's here, type unzip and the name of, of the file, okay, of the catalog actually. Now you see we have all the files from GitHub repository, all necessary at least. Let's make some changes before we run GoFish itself. Nano config.json. You see there is a simple built in text editor. Uh, modify listen URL to four zeros and the port of your choice. I will leave it free, 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 free as by default. Control X, capital Y and enter to save and exit. Now we just need to make GoFish this file executable. So sudo chmode, chmode plus X, GoFish. And as you can see, it's green instead of being white, that means it is executable. So type sudo gofish and it's running. Okay, as you can see, username admin, password this, <laughs> this long uh, string. We're, go we're gonna change it later anyway. So to connect to our gofish framework, to our gofish console, let's first copy the IP address port 3333 as you remember and ignore the warnings okay so admin as the username for password copy and paste this 
Now let's make a new password. Okay. And we are in. As you can see, there's nothing here yet. So let's create a first phishing campaign. Click users and groups, new group, name it whatever you like. You can import CSV files with user list, but I don't have, I don't have one. So I'm just going to do it for a single user. Click add, as you can see, he's here, save changes. Now email templates, it, this is going to be a, an email that will be sent uh, to the, to all the victims. You can import email. Now I'm going to show you a WordPress email. I got a legitimate one. I got a couple months earlier. Click those three dots, show original, and you can copy a raw email source from here. So copy to clipboard, paste it here, import email uh, envelope sender. Sorry. You, here you have to type Kevin will hack you at outlook.com. Basically, this will this is this is the email that will be shown to, to the victim. I'm going to show you later how to spoof it. Uh, so stay till the end. I believe this is all for the email template. So save template. Now landing pages. Let's just choose a WordPress login page. Uh, this one, for example, perfect. Copy the URL, new page, page name, WordPress, import site, paste the URL, import. As you can see, it's showing here, save page. And now probably the most important thing, sending profiles. So profile name, WordPress, SMTP from Kevin, same email, Kevin will hack you at outlook.com host this will we'll do it in a second as a, for a username you can copy the email password is just the password for for real outlook or whatever provider you use and uh, smtp so to find outlook's smtp you just type outlook SMTP server and this is gonna be either here I believe here mm, yes SMTP mail.outlook.com don't forget the port 587 am I right 587 yes uh, you can actually send a uh, no, actually, we don't have to save profile. Now let's create a campaign and use all of the things we've just created. URL is just the URL of your GoFish of your VPS HTTP and it's running on port 80. So we don't need to specify anything. Groups, WordPress, sending profile. Yes, everything is Correct. Launch campaign. Click launch. And you see status is sending. It's going to take a second and I'll see you when it's done. Okay. Status changed to email send. Uh, you can see that in the inbox, we actually received a phishing email. It seems pretty legitimate as you can, as you can imagine the only red flag pretty much is this one. Uh, I'm going to show you how to spoof uh, a sender ID. So basically we will type here, we will make it display whatever email we want. For example, support at wordpress.com. Uh, but that's uh, in a couple minutes. Let's first click this button. You see it redirects us to the VPS uh, server hosted that hosts uh, fake WordPress login web page website. Type whatever credentials you like. Let's for example, user and user login. 
at it and it immediately redirects us to the legitimate login to login website sorry mm, so that it's pretty much for a regular user it may seem like a weird bug or something he will probably retype the credentials login as always and uh, he won't be even aware that he got hacked and if we go back to gofish console you see submitted data changed to one you can expand here, view details, and as you can see, we have a password of our user. Now, as promised, I'm gonna show you how spoofing works, but we aren't gonna do that with uh, neither Outlook or Gmail. First, because they will block us anyway. And second, because spoofing in most countries, including mine, is illegal. So you shouldn't really try it. Impersonating some other people is illegal in general. Uh, therefore, we want to use a, an SMTP testing tool that will allow it. It's called Mailhog. You can download it from their GitHub repository. Let's go with the newest version. Copy link to this one. We can kill GoFish just for now make a new directory and cut dear mailhog okay I misspelled it but whatever it's not important w get to download it and uh, ch mode plus x mailhog to make it executable as you can see it's green but before we run it, we want to run, we want to have both Mailhog and GoFish running. So to do that, we have to sort of split our terminal session with screen command, screen dash s Mailhog to make a new uh, split session, sort of. Now type sudo mailhog and as you can see it's running so on this port on port 8025 you will have your uh, you will have your interface so if you type not 8525 as you can see there's a mailhog interface there's our inbox uh, nothing here yet and the second port 10.25 is a binding address, so we will use it as, uh, as an SMTP port, basically, as you can see here. So, to exit the session, Control A and D. Now we want to go back to GoFish directory, sudo run GoFish. Okay, it's running. Let's refresh. Log in one more time. Oh, I misspelled again. I can't type today. Okay. So we have to make some modifications. First things first, let's delete this campaign. We don't need it anymore. Sending profile. Edit. SMTP from. Let's change it to Let's change it to WordPress support, support at wordpress.com. That looks legitimate. Maybe Kevin from support. Uh, you don't need password. You don't need username. You need to modify SMT host and it will be our VPS IP. Uh, where is it here? VPS IP with port 1025. I don't think we need this. Or do we? No, we don't. So without this. Great, it works. And second thing in email templates, envelope sender. Let's make it the same. Support at wordpress.com. Mm, save template. Now, 
create a new campaign, WordPress, URL, HTTP and uh, port, HTTP and IP, sorry. Groups, same, launch campaign, sure. And immediately we have email sent. As you can see, we've got an email from support at wordpress.com. That means that uh, WordPress email was successfully spoofed. And you won't be able to do that the way I did with uh, Google SMTP, with Outlook SMTP. I can, I can actually show you that uh, we didn't receive any new messages, any new uh, emails, even though we We've sent, uh, we've sent a message to Joe because Mailhawk intercepts it and does it, and uh, it's not sending it to the recipient. Instead, uh, it keeps it and uh, lets us play with it. You won't be able to replicate it because Mailhawk has pretty much no restrictions in terms of what you can modify. And Gmail won't allow you, for example, won't allow from field to be different from the actual email it uses to, uh, email address it uses to, to send a message. So that's one of many restrictions. And beside that, I don't advise bypassing them because again, it's illegal. So you might get in trouble for that. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about cybersecurity, check out my other videos and consider subscribing so you don't miss any new content. See you soon.